Think your weaknesses disqualify you? Think again. I'll show you how your wounds, your past, and your flaws are used powerfully in God's service. Those who study human behavior say that among everything that people fear, there's one that tops the list. And it's not what you think. Not death, not finances, not even loneliness. More than anything else, people today are afraid of living a life that doesn't make a difference. Now think about that. People today want to feel as if their lives count for something. And for Christians, this means we desperately want to be used by God. With this drive, coupled with the modern technology and media we have to reach the ends of the earth, the possibility of fulfilling the Great Commission is very real. And the devil is scared stiff. This is the very premise of my book, Silent Satan. It's that knowing that his time is nearing the end, Satan has upped the ante to try to silence the voices you and me, that God wants to use mightily in these last days. So like a prosecuting attorney, the devil collects evidence from your past to present as reasons why you're too messed up, you're not good enough, or why God can't use you. And if he can convince you of all of this, he virtually muzzles your voice and thwarts your influence. The devil wants you to believe that your weaknesses and your past mistakes disqualify you from God's service. But the truth that we observe all throughout Scripture is that God has a habit of using unlikely people. In fact, He often takes nobodies and He turns them into somebodies. Are you flawed? Get in line with some of the best. Noah got drunk. Jacob was a deceiver, Moses had a stutter, Rahab was a prostitute, Mary Magdalene was demon-possessed, Peter denied Jesus three times. The Bible is littered with heroes who, despite their past and shortcomings, God still used mightily, simply because they surrendered their lives to Him, allowing God to show His strength through their weaknesses. And that's a word of victory for you, too. In 2 Corinthians 12, 9, the Lord says, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Hear that for yourself today. God's grace is all that you need. Your flaws have the power to display His power. Don't let the voice of, Look what you've done. You're not enough of this, or you're too much of that, disqualify you. Know that your wounds, your past, your weaknesses, when given to God, are actually the things He'll use to relate with people, to show evidence of His healing, and to give hope that what He did for you, He'll also do for someone else.